Hello, I'm Joey Casco, and my latest article is a, the first of a three-part series entitled Jeroboam's and Balthazar's, and part one is subtitled Wine Bottles of Typical Proportions. The reason why this is a three-part series for something that is actually kind of simple is because all over the internet, you can find lists of the different bottle sizes and their names, you know, like a 15 liter is a Nebuchadnezzar. But that's not good enough for me. It's not good enough for me to just say a 15 liter is Nebuchadnezzar and he's a biblical king. I need to know who he is. Who was this guy? What did he do? Why is he the name of a giant-ass bottle of wine? So I went through the stories of each different bottle size, and I'm going to tell you why they're called that, who that person was, and their complete story as much and as best as I can. So I spent a lot of time with the Bible on this, which if you know me at all, that is not a, not like me at all. So, um, yeah, so the first, uh, the first part, sorry, uh, wine bottles are typical portions. Uh, I go through a piccolo, which is a glass of sparkling wine, uh, a chopin, which is 250 milliliters, which is one-third of your standard bottle, a jenny, which is 500 milliliters, that's three-quarters of sweet wine, standard bottle, and the standard bottle is uh, 750 milliliters, but why is it said, why is that the standard size? We'll find out. Uh, the Magnum is 1.5, and that's two times the standard bottle. And a Mary Jean is 2.25 liters, that's three times the standard bottle. And the Double Magnum, or Jug, which is, of course, three liters. So, um, yeah, so find out what those are all about. The first part is an easy read, and then it gets pretty heavy after that in parts two and three. So please read Jeroboam's and Balthazar's, part one, wine bottles of typical proportions on the winestalker.net. Cheers.